Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in this Drop Funnels review video, I wanna share with you exactly what Drop Funnels is, how it works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. Now, just to let you know, if you are thinking of getting started with Drop Funnels, I've also left a link in the description. It's a 14-day trial link. Plus, if you join using that link, I'll also send you a bonus training about how you can use Drop Funnels the best so you can get the best result. Okay, so first of all, what is Drop Funnels and how does it even work? Well, it is a platform which is built on the WordPress framework, which basically means all of the benefits of WordPress have been added into Drop Funnels, which means it's fast, it's lightweight, and it's extremely functional. And what you can do inside of Drop Funnels is, as the name suggests, you can create funnels, you can also sell products inside of there, you can create and host memberships and courses, and then finally, you can also create your own CRM in the back end. Now there's some pretty interesting aspects about this. It is built off WordPress, but that doesn't necessarily mean you'll get the full WordPress functionality. It is a built-in system, so it is closed doors. What they provide is what you can get. However, the good thing about this platform is it's extremely fast. You don't have to worry about hosting or updating plugins or anything. That's all done for you on the back end, And it is very functional if you just need simplicity and you need speed. Now, if you do decide to get started, I'll also run quickly through the different pricing plans. First of all, we have two plans inside of here. We've got the Drop Funnels Starter and Drop Funnels Ultimate. Now, the starter is probably going to be more than enough for everyone. This gives you everything like three unlocked subdomains or uh, sub accounts. You can have unlimited funnels, courses, sub courses, website pages, blog posts, and sales pipelines, plus unlimited site visitors. The good thing about this, it means you can have a lot of people come to your website and once again, you don't have to worry about hosting or upgrading your plans or downtime or anything like that. And if you want to take it to the next level, they also have the ultimate, which allows you to have 10 accounts. You can have calendars and you have better support and more video storage. Now, there's an interesting thing they have here. They have what's called the 14 day trial or they have a skip the trial button. Now, it's a pretty strange way of doing it. But if you choose the 14 day trial, the monthly price actually goes to one hundred and twenty nine dollars a month. Whereas if you want to skip the trial, it's ninety nine dollars a month. So pretty interesting. Usually if you use the 14 day trial, you'll actually start putting a bit of effort into the platform and then you'll go to 129. Whereas if you just skip it and you don't have to worry about um, paying extra, you can go straight into the 99. So that's the pricing. It's a little bit interesting, um, but that's how it gets started. Now, once you do get into the platform, he also has this little bit of an incentive, right? Um, this is the founder here, Jordan. I think his name's Jordan. I don't know. He calls himself Jordo. But anyway, he's got a fast start training, which is basically this page here with a few bits of information. And if you complete this, he'll give you $50 credit to your next drop funnels bill. So pretty interesting. It just shows you basically how you can get set up with a funnel nice and quick and talks about domains and things like that. So what I'm going to do is actually go into my dashboard so you can see what drop funnels actually looks like. And this is the platform here, right? So it's a pretty simple dashboard, which is good. On the left, we've got the dashboard, which is this page here. We've also got funnels and different parts of the funnels, right? Your products, pop-ups, quizzes, things like that. Then we have courses, which has your two course options. We've got pipelines, websites, um, you've got your blog posts, you've got your SEO assets, which is your videos, images, things like that, settings. And then finally, we've got appearance. So if you aren't a WordPress user, this is amazing. You've got everything that you could ever need in one page. It's nice and quick and easy to use. And it's pretty simple to actually navigate around it. Now, if you are a WordPress user, the very interesting thing about Drop Funnels is it isn't completely custom coded. In fact, it is a collection of WordPress plugins that I recognized almost instantly when I got into the platform. And I'll show you what those are in a second, but we'll start with the funnels, okay? So let's go to the funnels tab. Let's just say you want to have a look at some of the funnels. Now, just to let you know, on the fast start, it will actually give you these two funnels that you can use. So I'm going to go and have a look at this first one, which is the fast start funnel. And this is what the dashboard looks like. Now, I believe he created this entire, um, this 
this UX himself, which is cool because Drop Funnels came out quite a while ago before uh, websites like Funnel Kit or um, Cart Flows or WP Funnels actually came out. So they these guys were one of the first people to get into it, which was kind of cool. Now you've got all of your different funnel steps inside of here. They're pretty easy to navigate. You've got your stats, your sales leads, everything like that. So it is quite an easy sort of user experience to go around. You can also have a look at the classic view if you want, which is this one here, and it just makes full width sections. So I'm, I'm, it's okay. I'm pretty happy with it so far. The really interesting thing though happens when you go to edit step. Now, once again, you have to, you have to understand I have been using WordPress for many years and I've reviewed hundreds of WordPress products. So I know exactly what I'm looking at when I see things. So I'll quickly just show you how it works. So you get the idea of it. Let's just say you wanted to add a heading, just simply drag and hold the element you want from the left and you can put it anywhere inside of the page. You can see the blue line where it's going to appear. So let's just say I want it at the top. Once you've got it here, you can type in the actual text. So I can say, this is a heading right and then you can style it you can put it uh, center aligned you can make it big you can put shadows and everything like that right so it's it's a very simple and easy to use plugin if you want to add in things like rows or different um, templates these are all inside of here as well so you can just simply click on a page click replace layout and it's going to add it into the page so in terms of functionality it's got plenty of templates as it's using the WordPress framework. So there's plenty inside of Beaver Builder that you can instantly add inside of here. And in terms of usability, it's very easy to use. Once again, it is using the Beaver Builder and Beaver Builder is one of the best builders for WordPress. So I'm not gonna spend too long inside of here. The one thing I will add while we are here though, if I come into modules, I will look at opt-in, right? Which is the opt-in form. This is how you're going to collect leads. So Drop Funnels itself doesn't have a email automation functionality, but they do integrate with different email autoresponders. So as you can see here, here's the list that comes native once again with Beaver Builder. So you just choose the one you want to use. Let's say it is get response. All you need to do is add in your account name and your API key, and then that is going to be integrated from here on in. So very easy to use, very uh, simple process. So I'm not going to spend too much longer on the funnels. You get the idea of it. If you are a WordPress user as well, you'll probably know exactly how drop funnels works. <clears throat> now, if we come down a little bit further, we also have courses. So if you click on courses here, then you can see they have a default course. So let's go have a look what it actually looks like. So this is it here. Um, I, I believe this is all custom code. I tried to look for something, but this is all built with Beaver Builder as well. But it looks nice and easy, right? You can edit as much as you want inside of it. And if you were to actually edit the course, you can just come inside of the course. Uh, if you click on the title, it pops down the modules. You've also got all your members, your settings, default pages, uh, and everything like that. So I believe it actually is a pretty good platform inside of here as well. Uh, in terms of courses, once again, it makes things nice and easy. Now they've got an interesting one here, which is called Pipelines. I've just been playing around with it as you can see, but you can create multiple different types of pipelines. I guess this is if you wanted to make it like a CRM, you can choose people, add them in different stages. It could, would be good if you're in like high ticket types of sales, whereas if you're looking for a large amount of students inside of a course, it probably wouldn't be super convenient. However, it is here if you want it. But let's move on to websites. So if you come to the website drop down here, we have pages and menus. I'll quickly go to pages and we are given a blog archive as our only page to start with. Now it's super easy to create pages, but what I'm gonna do first is actually go and have a look at this page, right? So this is the blog archive. It's, I believe, another template from um, Beaver Builder. But what I want to do right now is actually test website speed. If you come to their homepage, they go crazy about uh, how fast their, their websites are, right? Inside of all the videos, inside of all the training, you will notice they always reference the speed of it. So let's actually test the speed, okay? So I'll go to uh, GT Metrics. It's a free website uh, speed tester. I'll type in their blog link and let's see how fast this 
thing actually loads. Now, just to let you know, a fast website should be around one second to load. Under two seconds is okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. Under three is not really acceptable anymore. It's got to be around the one or under one. And it also gives you some indication of how the site was created. So let's have a look about the actual speed and functionality of this builder. So we've got 95%, 93% structure, so it's not too bad. 1.2 seconds before anyone actually sees anything. So I'll talk about that in a second, but if we come down 1.3 seconds to fully load. So that's actually not too bad. So if we come to the waterfall section here, this is going to tell us why things took, uh, how long they did to load. And that gives us an indication of what we can improve. Now, unfortunately, everything on the back end here looks great, but the initial loading of the site, so if you put your site on here, it'll just be your root domain. To actually get any information from here, it took 716 milliseconds, almost a second to actually load just the first piece of content, which tells me either their hosting is slow or how they've optimized the speed on their website isn't quite right. This should be less than 200 if anything so they can definitely improve this it is built with wordpress my website i think loads in about in about a second as well maybe a slightly more or less but um, this is a very important factor it needs to load quicker inside of here so that's interesting it's not too bad um, it has improved a lot but it's not perfect now if we come to the website itself let's have a look how you can actually create pages. I've actually done this, it's nice and easy, but let's just say this is called home, right? You've got here your drop funnels editor, which is Beaver Builder. You've got the standard WordPress um, backend over here, which is nice. And what they've done here, which is pretty interesting, is added in a, another plugin for SEO. And if you wanna see what that plugin is, you just go to developer view source, click on find, and then look up plugins. And you can see here they've added the WP SEO Press plugin, which is cool. They've also got the pro version of it down here as well. Now they are optimizing all of your images with Smush as well, WP Smush Pro, which is good. And all your emails can actually be sent. This is for your courses, I believe, using WP Mail SMTP, um, which is a pretty good popular plugin as well. So that's nice to see. So apart from those things there, we've got funnels, courses, pipelines, websites. You've also got blog posts, which, just, which are just like in WordPress. You've got SEO settings, which is just like uh, SEO press itself. You've got all your different files, settings and appearances as well. So I guess the question right now, I'll do a full tutorial for those wanting to see it. I'll also link down below or just check out my channel. But the big question is, is drop funnels worth it? And I guess it all comes down to what is the use case, right? If you are someone that has just created an online course, you're wanting to sell it online, you're wanting to host it somewhere, you're wanting to create funnels, is drop funnels worth it for $99 or 129 a month? And to tell you the truth, I'd say there are better options out there. So for example, I'm a huge fan of system.io. In fact, I've helped hundreds of people get set up with that platform. I'll even link down to my bonus course I have for it down below. But system gives you basically all of this plus way more, including emails, automations. You can also create your own communities online and all of that. And you can get started for free. Now the top tier plan inside of that for unlimited, absolutely everything, unlimited domains, unlimited everything, that is $97 a month. So would I say drop funnels is better than system? I wouldn't. System is a very powerful platform. So if you're just wanting to get started, you can get started for free with system. That'll be much better. Now let's have in terms of people that want even more functionality, right? More of a higher end user wanting even more features and functionality. I definitely wouldn't uh, recommend drop funnels. Instead, I'd recommend go high level. Once again, I've helped hundreds of people get started with go high level. It's an extremely powerful platform. If you're a marketer, if you're a course creator, if you're a coach, if you're a marketing agency, they also have a SaaS white labeling version. That thing is incredible. It hosts all your affiliate programs, courses, memberships, invoicing, CRMs, has its own email system, phone system, SMS, marketing system, automations, and everything in the back end. So that can be done once again for I think $97 a month and you get three accounts, which is what you get in drop funnels, except you get far less features inside of drop funnels. So unfortunately, 
the only people I can really see using drop funnels are ones that have been coached into using drop funnels or people that are just WordPress fanatics, right? It's still got such a lot of WordPress elements inside of it as it's just a modified version of WordPress basically. So if you're a WordPress fanatic, then you'd probably use it. The only issue with that once again, is if you are using WordPress, you can't add in your own plugins. And if you wanted to say, take everything off drop funnels, if you decide to go somewhere else, you can't just copy all of your information into a easy downloadable file anymore because it's built with drop funnels. They won't allow you to do that. So you're basically gonna lose everything anyway. So at the end of the day, they've done a really good job with drop funnels. It is a much better product than it was three years ago. Unfortunately, I don't think it is the best value for your buck anymore. They were good three years ago when there wasn't much competition. However, they've fallen behind. There is so many good uh, platforms out there right now. Once again, my two favorite ones, if you're on a budget, system.io, or if you're looking for the best tools available, Go High Level is a beast. Anyway, I'm happy to answer any questions if you have any. I'm an open book. I've reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different software, so I'm not just making this stuff up. So let me know down in the comments, no matter what platform you want to use, I've created training for all of them just because I've had to learn them, so why not teach them as well? So if you want to get started with Drop Funnels, I've also got that bonus training for you, but hopefully this has opened your eyes to what Drop Funnels is and if it's right for you. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I'm about to launch a series of powerful AI trainings to do with building funnels, selling products, affiliate marketing, and everything in between. And I'm happy to share that with you. So make sure you hit subscribe. But that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.